or live in three, two, one on Facebook, live in three, two, one. G'day guys, g'day world. Thank you so much for coming to my live broadcast of my very own book launch. And uh, I'm sorry I can't be with you in person, but this is the next best thing. And thank you so much for joining me on YouTube, Facebook, and LinkedIn. I, I would love to know who's joined me tonight. And uh, so I can see some of your comments on Facebook only. So if you're here with us, please give me a shout out. I'd love to see your name come up on the screen in front of me. So I will just start off uh, by with a welcome to country. So I'd like to pay my respects to the traditional owners on the land in which we meet on, the Yugambo people. Uh, to the elders past, present and emerging, and to any Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islanders here with us this evening. So once again, thank you so much for coming. I honestly didn't feel like this day was ever going to come. It took a bloody long time to get here. And I've been seeing some amazing, amazing comments across social and uh, you guys and messages today. It's been an absolute uh, amazing ride and I I'm truly proud to be here. I can see my family are watching. Hello family. Hey Ethan. Hey Lauren. Hey, hey Brian. <laughs> amazing. And g'day Mark. It's so great to see so many people and, and my friends watching this evening. So uh, most of the people that um, you know, find out that I've written this book, Building Brands on Purpose, you know, ask me all sorts of questions. And I want to go through some of those with you this evening. I also want to make sure uh, I'm going to read the acknowledgements only. Uh, I'll leave the rest up to you. G'day, Ash. G'day, Grant. Um, and I really want to just make sure that uh, I pay my respects to, to those people and uh, they hear it from me first, the acknowledgements. I'd love to read those out to you and hopefully uh, it won't be, you know, gushing tears. So how did this book come about? Listen, it was probably around about you know, 20 years of, of, of failure or failures. Uh, or research, as we like to call it, and, and two years of actually write, writing and planning the book. I did go through a program uh, called Key Person of Influence with Dent Global and the, Mike Clark and Glenn Carlson and Alma Clark uh, were all super helpful in helping me realise my potential and that I did actually have something worth writing about. So going through that, that course helped me sort of plan and nut out what my book was going to be about. And uh, lo and behold, uh, I realized there was something of pure gold to, to write about. There's my mum. G'day mum. G'day BJ. G'day Stace. So look, the 20 years of research actually started with e-commerce websites being created by me. Uh, I was a jack of all trades, SEO, Google advertising, social media marketing, video production, content marketing and marketing strategy. And being a jack of all trades uh, means that you're essentially you know, a professional of none. So developing a team at Me Media actually helped me, you know, step out and get out of the trenches, so to speak, and become more strategic. Albeit, I had to learn that by people tell, telling me, i.e. mentors, and uh, by my own mistakes. So one of the journeys that, that occurred was I co-founded a, a, another media company called Beach City. And during the time between 2015 and 2020, we produced over 3,000 live video productions basically throughout Australia, USA and Asia. And I was traveling with that crew, uh, being the anchor man 
And essentially, Me Media was kind of not really functioning very well while I was away. So my mentor and co-founder, Lee Kelson, told me, listen, Chris, if you're going to ride two horses, you need two asses. And he doesn't know anybody with two asses. So essentially, I had to make a decision and step away from Beach City and go back to Me Media, albeit it wasn't doing that well. In fact, uh, I didn't know whether or not to uh, just give up on it all. So, uh, g'day Tom, g'day Lachlan, thanks for coming, g'day Kaz. Um, so, I was in this downward spiral. I was uh, pretty depressed and uh, essentially lost in the wilderness, as uh, I would say it. And uh, that, wasn't, that wasn't such a nice feeling and I'd lost my purpose. So, in the process of actually finding my purpose, I figured out that I kind of had this, this formula. Um, and, um, and so I continued to explore that. I explored that through my own research and through talking to people on, on my podcast. So the Proactive podcast uh, was originally known as Get Fact Up. Uh, we rebranded it uh, and I would talk to some amazing people on that podcast and ask some pertinent questions around, you know, strategy, around purpose, around business in general. Uh, you can see some, some really cool cats on there. Uh, Grant Mayo from Nutrition Warehouse, who's on the, on the live tonight. Um, and, you know, actually Ryan Tuckwood's also on the live. G'day, Ryan. And uh, he's not in there, but his co-founder, uh, Jack Corbett, is there. I did actually interview Ryan somewhere in that, that journey. And uh, Gary Vaynerchuk was probably the biggest name that I've interviewed on my, uh, on my show. So um, sorry to those other guys <laughs> that think they're more famous, i.e. talking about you, Grant. Um, <laughs> so, so thanks, um, <laughs> thanks for, for, for uh, taking one for the team there. So then developing a formula, you know, uh, actually, you know, got tried and tested and tried and tested and, and it helped me find my purpose. Therefore, it also helped the clients, the clients that I was working with find their purpose and lo and behold, find their brand purpose. The methodology ended up being called proactive and that's, it was pretty much uh, row active until I discovered that you know P was the most important part that was missing from the methodology. Methodology. <laughs> so, Grant's commenting, "What I was famous once." <laughs> Classic. Um, so you know, then we market tested that, and wow, every single time we implement this for our clients, uh, we strike gold. And, uh, and we've only done that through basically testing and measuring and constantly adapting the methodology into this proactive methodology. So it's, it is a simple to, to understand planning and strategic marketing methodology. Look, that is absolutely, you know, it is a marketing book. I am a marketer, but the journey in there and how that came about is, uh, is, is quite surprising to not only me, but um, I think the, the people that read it. Um, so I've, I've had some really good reviews so far uh, in person and online and, and I, I'm truly proud. I'm truly proud to, to say that uh, it's a book I'm worth uh, sending out there. There was a time when <laughs> I first got it back from the publishers and I'll tell you now, I was very nervous, excited, nervous, all of those emotions and had to actually read it because I didn't really know what was in the book after the editors uh, had sort of had their go at it. Um, all the editing, etc. you know, I hadn't even read it from, from front to back yet. So, uh, so lo and behold, I discovered my brand purpose and that is to build brands on purpose, hence the name of the book. So uh, a lot of people ask me these kinds of questions and guys, um, I'd love to see some questions coming through, uh, albeit 
uh, I might not be able to answer them straight away, but uh, I'll definitely want to get to those. So how did I fit it in? So it was early mornings um, mostly, and I started with the KPI crew. They gave us a 30,000 word challenge. And uh, so it was you know, about 42 days, I think they gave us to do that in. And I was like 5 a.m. starts, sometimes earlier. Um, you can write, actually write a thousand words in about an hour um, when you're just, it's pure brain dump. And, and then, you know, uh, for 30 days, I did get my, my 30,000 words done. And then about 1.5 years of actual, uh, you know, going back and, and rewriting. I rewrote half the book uh, in, a, in, in a month. Uh, in part of that journey as well, so uh, yeah, it was it was lots of edits and um, and also like education as well, finding out new things, you know, in my research and and uh, I just had to put those things in the book. So uh, the purpose of this book um, is absolutely number one to inspire businesses to be purpose led by giving them the reason and tools to do it. So hopefully my facts uh, and reason help persuade some people, some businesses uh, to my way of thinking. Um, I'm not, you know, I'm not Robinson Crusoe. I do know that, you know, purpose has been around for some time, but maybe uh, the tools in this book will help people, uh, you know, take the next step and, and make it just that little bit easier. Uh, G'day Tom, Tom from the Philippines, how are you mate? Um, so the purpose of this book is number two, to improve the marketing industry for agency and client results and transparency. Too many times I hear clients coming to us that have said that they've been hard done by you know, in other agencies or those agencies don't actually fully grasp you know, like SEO or how to best you know be transparent with their clients and how to communicate that uh, this methodology can help do that and uh, and within teams as well it should help boards and CEOs and marketing basically teams you know keep everybody on the same track purpose number three is to help improve the culture of organizations by taking consistent action on their values so one of the most beautiful things that I came to understand was that uh, if culture is strategy, then what is the origin of culture? And that is actually values. So values inspire action. Action inspires, uh, action inspires purpose. Purpose inspires culture and culture is absolutely strategy. So where are we at? Purpose number four to help my agency help more brands become purpose-led. Absolutely, there's no doubt that this book is meant for people and businesses to basically read and look, if they want to do it and they don't have the team to do it, I have a plug and play team to do it. I want them to call. Uh, it has been an awesome ride just in the past probably year alone, when more and more people have, have come to understand you know, the reason and pur purpose of Me Media is to build a brand on purpose. And we've worked with some amazing clients already that have been absolute joy because they're doing some awesome things in the world like renewable energy and uh, technology, uh, you know, that absolutely blow your mind and uh, it's been an, uh, just so cool for me and my team to be working with them. So uh, let's jump into the acknowledgements. Uh, by the way, I, I do really want to see some questions. Can't see any coming through just yet. So I do absolutely want to read these acknowledgements though and um, hopefully make the people who I have acknowledged cry. I love it when people cry, it's fantastic. <laughs> no, cry for the right reasons, of course. All right, so acknowledgements. I am grateful. 
I have the opportunity to thank so many people who've helped me get here. My only fear is that I will forget someone who is truly deserving of being thanked and is left off these pages. I'll mention those at the end. I have actually thought of a few. So the biggest thanks goes to my parents, Jeffrey and Rosemary Hogan, uh, for giving me the best start in life any child could ask for and encouraging me to try new things like soccer, piano, saxophone, dance, martial arts, and surfing, and sending me to great schools where I made lifelong friends. Most of all, I thank you both for encouraging me to never give up. Some of those friends are still here on watching tonight, and uh, it, it, it's just purely amazing to have them with me. So to my older sisters, Sharon and Kim, you've been the two extra mother figures I needed to mold me into the man I am. Without your influence, I'm sure confidence with and my empathy towards women would not have developed as well as it has. To my wife, Amy, who's been my rock for over half my life, giving me reassurance and purpose to be loving, a loving husband and father to three girls, Maya, Eve and Quinn. Hello girls at home, uh, I love you dearly. To my children for helping me understand what it means to be a father. I've had to improve myself and even though I may feel grown, I've still got plenty more growth left in me. And thank you to Mark and Karen Payton for having such a beautiful and strong-willed daughter for me to marry. And thank you, Karen, for being my number one Facebook fan. Yes, you are. You absolutely like everything and like every single photo and every single post. Uh, <laughs> love hearts, the rest. It's, it's proper amazing. Okay. So I'm seeing some stuff come through. No, not yet. Okay. Um, to Stacey and Yogi, your loving support is always noticed and appreciated. In fact, Stacey, I think she bought multiple books today. I'm surprised she could afford it after the coffee machine she just purchased. Um, to the Archdeacon family, specifically Donna, your words of encouragement have meant a lot in the final days of writing this book and helped me push through to the end. I've mentioned people I've met throughout my career that have made the most impact on me, but Lee Kelson takes the cake as the best mentor any business owner could ask for. Working with Lee was one of the best experiences I've had in what it takes to build a business, pitch, sell and grow it. Lee either operates at zero or 10, nothing in between. And if he looks like he is sitting idle, he's researching, connecting the dots and using the strength of his network to discover answers to questions he doesn't already have. Lee believes in solving problems worth solving. He's discovered that the best way to motivate oneself is to find a big problem and start solving it. Much of what I lacked, I've watched, much of what I've lacked in business became evident because Lee didn't hold back on his observations and gave it to me straight. I've learned so much from you, Lee. Thank you. Thank you to my sensei and friend, Jamie McEninch, uh, for being yet another mentor in my life who's also taught me the never say die attitude. We've shared a passion for martial arts and mobility training that started at a young age. Uh, 12 was when I started training with him. And I'm grateful for being taught the importance of learning an ancient warrior martial art and making it applicable to being a modern day warrior. A warrior who understands light and dark, softness and strength. Duomo arigato. Uh, they, they will be training tonight, um, probably won't see this live, maybe, maybe we'll see it tomorrow. To those me media team members who helped shape me, our clients and our company, thank you to Jenna Faint, my first ever employee, for believing in me and me media for your seven year term. Kevin Allison for being the longest standing employee and my rock within the business. Steve Williams, still at work. <laughs> G'day Steve. Uh, for also being a long-standing supporter and being a creative guy who never shies away from a creative challenge. I'm equally grateful to all the other team members who've taught me life lessons without which I would not be the man I am today. Uh, thank you, Shani, I spoke to you today. Uh, thank you, Sam Delgano. And thank you, Jared Reynolds, who's working with us now. Uh, mate, you're doing an amazing job, thank you. To the clients who got Me Media off the ground, to the long-standing clients who've stayed, both I and the team at Me Media have enjoyed working with you all and hope this continues for many more years. Thanks to you, Grant. I really appreciate, mate, the journey that we've been on. And uh, in 2007, Me Media launched Nutrition Warehouse online. And uh, if you know anything about Grant's story, uh, he's absolutely done an amazing thing. I, I don't know how many stores he's got across Australia now, it's ridiculous, but um, 
I am certainly not uh, to be congratulated on that. That is definitely his hard work and uh, I was just a supporter. Thank you to Michael Clark from Dent Global for encouraging me to take on the challenges of Key Person of Influence course and for introducing me to Rethink Press. Thanks also to Daniel Priestley for inspiring me many years ago to want to become an author. All right, that's enough reading. <laughs> okay, uh, what's next? Right, uh, we can go into claiming a free book, but um, Grant is placing his order and uh, I just wanted to know if anybody has any questions, please, please send them through. Uh, could you scroll up there? Martin, would you, no? No, can't do that. Okay. Okay, I have a question here. All right, there is a question. What made you decide to keep going when you gave me media back your full attention? From Tom Adams. Okay, thanks Tom. Uh, got a great question from you. So what made me want to keep going uh, after getting back with me media? Listen, it was, I guess, a little bit of that, you know, you haven't actually failed until you stop, um, that kind of thing. And also, look, you know, working in the marketing industry and working on that, that agency for so long, uh, there was probably no other way for me to actually generate the, the level of income that me media could generate. Uh, and, and so, you know, in probably the short or long term, you know, scenario. So it did make sense financially to stick with it. Secondly, uh, there is a part in the book that maybe I should let you read uh, <laughs> that uh, actually does explain that. But um, put it this way, my father was a huge inspiration to me. And uh, while he had passed uh, you know, several years earlier, I could hear his words ringing in my ears. And uh, he was the one that told me you know, basically to get up and get going. And, uh, you know, he had all sorts of sayings and a lot of them are in the book, but, you know, one of them, you know, it's, it's not his saying, but borrowed from elsewhere, uh, you know, when the going gets tough, the tough get going. And, and that's just one of them. Uh, Grant, thank you so much. Without Chris and me media, possibly there would have, wouldn't have been a nutrition warehouse. Thank you for the early years. <laughs> that was amazing, mate. It was amazing. We absolutely brainstormed that, that, uh, that that whole idea in in your lounge room together and um and you know that was such a wild ride steve harris i'm loving loving your work okay uh and hard -earned knowledge someone just asked me to repost it before you did this what sort of pain or issues caused were caused back when you were purposeless yeah, so the feeling of being lost and, and lacking purpose is, 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 is pretty shit. Um, you absolutely do feel lost and that it's, uh, you know, getting up out of bed is even hard. Um, and smiling when you're around people is super hard. And, uh, you know, one of, the, one of the catalysts that really got me was that I was comparing myself to others. I had negative self-talk going on. And, um, you know, I was at, the, at a young, entrepreneur, young, young Entrepreneurs Award night and I was dressed up in a penguin suit, um, which I never wore, felt, feeling like a total imposter and, and not getting from the nomination stage to the, final, uh, the finalist stage all at, in the last year I could possibly qualify, uh, all because we were having the, probably the worst year in business, uh, you know, which is when I actually came back. So sitting there, uh, it was just like the worst feeling in the world. Uh, you know, I felt like a total imposter and a fake and, and a failure. And, uh, and lo and behold, you know, people told me I looked great and all that sort of stuff. I felt like an idiot in the way I was dressed. Um, and all that negative self-talk didn't help. So, 
you know, uh, a lot of books and, and, and whatnot, a lot of reading and audio books and, and some positive self-talk uh, actually helped set me on the right path. Thanks, uh, thanks, Steve. Uh, how many times did you have to review a chapter after you'd written it from Lachlan? Um, mate, that was uh, probably a lot. Uh, so, like I said, I wrote the book in thirty da in pretty much you know forty two days, and the manuscript, and then had to go back through and see if it made any sense. I left it for a long time, um, probably near on four months before I even dived back into it after that. And then, you know, started reading through it and, and going, that's, that's really doesn't make any sense or that doesn't tie in with this and that. And so, um, but then some, some really cool stuff was coming through in my research and I just had to put it down and find places to put it. And, and so, you know, when, when I sent it off to the, to the editors, they actually, you know, said, hey, look, it's really good. Here's what you've got to go do. You've got to go find, you know, some, you've got to go do your research and you've got to find some citations, which is what I did. And then realized, well, uh, you know, there was areas where they didn't really fit in. So I had to go and re I rewrote the, like, at least half the book, maybe three quarters of the book in, in, a, in about two, two months, you know, a month to two months. So, um, I know that probably doesn't answer your question, Lachlan, but yeah, there was, uh, there was a lot of, lot of back and forth thing. And you know what? There's still errors in it, and there's still things that I wish I'd put in there. Uh, so, <laughs> you know, what do they say? Uh, prolific is better than perfect. So at least it's out now. Right. Well, um, thank you once again. Listen, I do have a special offer. So you can actually claim your free book from me Thank you so much, or a strategy call. Thank you so much from, for all of you who have actually uh, purchased the book, uh, the Kindle, most of you uh, today. So if you would like me to send you a free copy, a free signed copy of the paperback, all you need to do is actually jump on, back on the chrishogan.com.au website. Uh, there's a link at the very bottom and follow, follow that link and follow these steps. So essentially, you've already purchased the book, uh, which is great on Kindle, most likely. And then step two is have a little read. If you like it, pop a review up on Amazon for me. And then step three is to just submit your proof of purchase uh, on this form. There's a link on that uh, page that you'll hit and you will actually get that, you'll actually get that. Um, sorry, there was a bit of background noise. Sorry, then it will come through to me and I'll know what you did. So where, there's two places where you can upload those screenshots. One of those will be proof of purchase. One of those will be proof of review. If you haven't done the review, don't worry about it. Um, if you don't want to do a review, don't worry about it. If you just want the signed copy, just don't do that part. And I'll be sure to get that through and, and see that and understand that message if you didn't do both. So then I'll send it out to you. So that's the, just basically head back to chrishogan.com.au. You probably went there sometime today. Um, there was links to these live, live uh, streams and at the very bottom there's a green button there to basically claim your free strategy call. What is the strategy call? It's a 30 minute strategy call where basically I can look at what you're doing in your marketing and probably dissect it and give you some roundabout ways that you can move forward. Uh, you know, it, one of the most amazing things that I find is that, you know, being in this industry and working in it for, you know, for 20 plus years, I can identify a lot of things that, um, you know, just aren't being picked up by you basically because, you know, you're working in the trenches and maybe you can't see the forest for the trees. So uh, two analogies, metaphors there. Um, guess what? I've just been told that uh, from all of your help today, uh, we have actually gotten into a <laughs> basically a bestsellers list, and that has projected me already uh, into as an Amazon bestseller. So um, it wasn't all smokes and mirrors, 
to be honest, I was messaging and emailing and posting on socials and responding to people all day today, plus trying to write this, uh, this slide deck. So um, it, it, I've never been so proud uh, of you, my friends, and, uh, and to be up there on, on the list beside the likes of Seth Godin, far out. He's even quoted in this book. Um, that's that's mind-boggling. So, listen, uh, I think that is it. I thought I'd leave you with this one. Um, back of the day in Get Packed Up, uh, we did some crazy stuff. It's all on the YouTube channel, and uh, and you can get to that link from my website, chrishogan.com.au. Uh, Steve, who's probably still watching from work, he is absolutely an amazing special effects artist, and <laughs> he does some crazy stuff. Uh, one of those was episode 42, and where he made me look like Gandhi. But um, that quote is absolutely true and it rings true for many, many of you out there. And that is, you know, if you want to see some change in the world, then, then Gandhi said, be the change you want to see in the world. And that is it. That is the end of the live stream. Uh, if there's any other comments, I'd love to see them. Um, I can't hear a round of applause, of course. <laughs> I'm sure there is one. Uh, thanks for sticking around this long if you have. So long. Stay in touch. Uh, you know where I'm at. MeMedia.com.au, ChrisHogan.com.au, and I'm on the socials, uh, mostly known as Chris Hogues, uh, hence my nickname from back in the day. And uh, I did want to leave you with a couple of funny things. So if you're still there, can anybody name the first place that I worked, that I got a job. Maybe if you can, I'll send you two books. Are you still there, guys? <laughs> no? Well, there is actually a clue to one of those places in the book. Uh, look, I hope you enjoy it. Take care and good night. Cheers. Hey, thanks guys on LinkedIn. If you stuck around that long, then uh, congratulations if it actually even worked.